Mystery, so welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a currently reading slash Friday reads video, which I very rarely do because I don't really read. I tend to not read more than one book at the same time, but apparently if I do, I read like five books at the same time, so... I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> also by reading at the same time, I mean like these are all marked as currently reading on Goodreads, but some of these I haven't picked up in like months, so it doesn't technically count, but I'm just basically gonna let you know what uh, books I have. I'm currently in the middle of and ho I'm hoping to eventually finish. First is an audiobook. Uh, that I have been listening to for probably three months at this point and it's not that long It's like eight hours, but I still have not finished it because I suck at like actually making myself Listen to audiobooks, but this is born a crime by Trevor Noah um, I'm really enjoying the parts I have listened to so far uh, It's nonfiction memoir about Trevor Noah who I think is a comedian I haven't actually heard of him before picking up this book, but uh, he grew up in South Africa um, during or just after apartheid and um, he is half black and half white so it's kind of like um, about his sort of experiences in that position because that was actually considered illegal like for whites and blacks to have children together so that's why it's called Born a Crime and it's very interesting but it's also kind of tedious at times so I guess that's why I haven't been like dying to like listen to it but I do want to finish it eventually. Another book I've literally been reading for the longest time but oh my god it actually there's dust on it because that's how long I've had it on my like bedside shelf <laughs> uh, which is my currently reading shelf basically. The Subtle Knife by Philip Pullman which is the second book in his Dark Materials trilogy. I read the first I think in December and then I read like half of the second one and stopped for whatever reason and now here we are. I'm literally halfway through the book, like the entire bind up book, but I just, <laughs> I don't care to pick it up right now, which is sad. Uh, I have to do that definitely soon. Next is uh, my, uh, <laughs> a book that I'm like kind of debating over actually finishing or a DNFing it. I feel like I'm in such a minority with not liking this book because it literally doesn't have a single negative review on Goodreads or like barely any that I could find at least so but I don't know I I'm not feeling it at all and that is The Red Knight by Miles Cameron this book has 766 pages and I got through 180 of them and I don't care about anything. It is so fucking boring. This is high fantasy and it follows this red knight who's like a mercenary and uh, or mercenary, which is the right pronunciation, A or B, let me know. He basically collects this band of people and then he's charged by the abbess of an abbey <laughs> duh, to like protect her and like defend the abbey because there's like attacks coming in from the wild, which is somehow like the woods region where weird creatures live, I don't know. I'm getting Game of Thrones vibes, but it doesn't help the book in my opinion. Uh, I find it very confusing, there's like a thousand characters, I don't care about any of them, I don't th feel like they have very distinct personalities, even the main character who's the Red Knight isn't really a main character, he doesn't seem like, like he's any more important than any of the others, which is annoying to me for some reason. It's just so long-winded, I've read almost 200 pages and barely anything has happened, uh, we get fr thrown into this world with no explanations of anything and you just have to know somehow what like an irk is or like I don't even know they don't even give you explanations really like proper explanations of like the fairy tale creatures so or like the, there are explanations but I don't find them sufficient for me to imagine them and I'm saying did I say fairy tale I meant like fantasy creatures also this book is weirdly sexual like everyone in this book somehow is really horny all the time and the weirdest part is like that the uh, like the nuns and the abbess and all of them are like really sexual somehow like there's not any like sex scenes been so far I don't know if there's gonna be any but I just find it strange and I'm just not I'm just not enjoying it and I thought I was gonna push through and read it but I realized like I just have no motivation to pick it up so this is a very likely DNF to be honest the next two actually it's like 
it's a stretch to say I'm currently reading them. And I think according to Goodreads, I am not actually currently reading them because one I took off and one I didn't even put on the list. But anyway, the first is an anthology called The Jin Falls in Love and Other Stories, edited by Mavish Murad and Jared Shurin. This are, is like a collection of like 20 short, and I mean short, stories about Jin, genie. Cannot say that word. What else is new? And, and there's two problems with why I am like struggling with this. First, I'm off already at three stories. I'm on page 30. These are super tiny. I think there's like 20 of them all together and it's just so short everything. They're so short which maybe helps some people but for me I don't I don't really read short stories <laughs> so I don't even know why I got this. Well I know because I'm into genie and stuff. I just can't get into short stories. I find them too short to give me anything meaningful to get into them fully and it feels like I don't get anything out of them. Like when I read them, I feel like, okay, I've read something, but just to exercise my eyes and I haven't really, you know, gained anything from this experience. Next one, again, you can't really say I'm currently reading it because I've read 10 pages and then instantly realized I don't actually care that much. And that is um, the song Rising by Samantha Jane. I just uh, threw on the dust jacket because I always take them off to read. But um, yeah, this is the third book in the bone season series and I have just reread the mime order because I needed to reread it and I was like bored. I don't know why I reread it to be honest. I didn't really enjoy it that much. <laughs> but now I feel like I have to read the third book because now I reread the mime order because I forgot what happened and so you know this would be perfect timing to actually read the third one but I just don't care. And the reason why I don't care is my main current read which I have saved for the end because uh I love this. By the time you see this video, which is tomorrow, I might be finished with it. That's how much I love it. Alright, and that is Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. I read Red Rising like a week ago and fell in love with it and ordered the entire rest of the series. So, now I have Golden Sun. Finally, you should follow my Instagram stories if you're like not caught up on that situation. <laughs> um, but it took me a while to get this, but now it's here and I'm so excited. I love this series. Oh my god, it is my favorite thing and I'm almost halfway through, I started it yesterday, it's really good, I wish I could do nothing but read but that's just not what life is like, so, <laughs> but it's fine, I have two more books after this, so I'm not mad. I'm excited about it. I'm not someone to usually be like, oh my god, this YA fantasy is like my favorite thing, but this is it. Like, I have very few YA series that I consider fantasy series that I consider like favorites, like all time favorites, no matter what, like no matter how I outgrow the genre, I will still read it and still enjoy it. But I think that this is one of them because I'm fairly done with YA, like most of YA, I'm like, eh, I don't care. But this is fucking amazing. I don't even know if it is YA. It doesn't really read like YA. It looks like very, it's very intricate. It's very political. It's so fascinating. I love it. That is it, you guys, for all of my current reads. That, of which actually only one is an active current read. But I mean, I just can't read multiple stories at the same time. I can't get into it. I always abandon, like, everything for one of them. So... Um, I mean, I have been trying to tell myself to read like one of these short stories a day because it's so fucking short, but then I'm like, I forget about it or I don't care enough. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye.